This is our entry to the art prize. Come meet us in person and help us win $200,000, which means we could continue the Flying Like Iron Man project. So what the heck is this thing? Well, we were actually commissioned by Bosch to make this art installation for the Michigan Art Prize, which is the world's largest outdoor art festival. Now, I know what you're thinking. This isn't really a regular Hacksmith project. It's not from a work of fiction, it's not from a movie or a comic or whatever, but honestly, I think it's pretty cool. We do projects like this because unfortunately, a channel like ours can't make enough money off YouTube ads alone. We're not a gaming channel or something. What we do is really expensive. Let me show you. This is our ad revenue for this year. We've made around $45,000. That might seem like a lot of money, but remember, there's a team of almost five people here. That barely even begins to cover the cost of running the shop, let alone paying everyone. The only reason we've been able to keep this business running is because of our loyal supporters on Patreon who help support us financially, as well as generous sponsors like Bosch and doing jobs for companies just like this one. So you know, if you want to help make sure this channel doesn't go under and lets us focus on really, really, really epic projects, consider supporting us on Patreon. Plus, you get the added perk of seeing all of our videos early, before the public. It's pretty awesome. Back to the project. Did you know this is actually a competition? I mean, it is called the Art Prize, Art Prize, and that means you guys could help us win $200,000. With $200,000, we could continue the Flying Like Iron Man project, bring back the exoskeleton, and even work on the lightsaber. All you have to do is come meet us in person in Grand Rapids, Michigan. The address is in the description below. And then vote for us. Our project will be there for the entire art prize. But if you want to meet us, we'll be there between September 23rd and yeah, 20th. We'll be there from September 20th to 23rd. And you can meet both me and Ian. We'll have stickers and probably some t-shirts too. All the information for the event can be found in the description below. And don't forget to sign up on our Facebook event page as going, because if you do, we'll give you a signed Batarang when you show up. If our project gets the most votes, then we win $200,000. And yes, we get to keep it all. Bosch is awesome like that. And you can see some really cool other art as well. So how do we even come up with this project? Well, it's time for a bit of a story. Did you know Ian and I actually lived in Germany during our degree? Yeah, we actually did an exchange program and we lived in Braunschweig, Germany for almost half a year and we traveled all over Europe, saw lots of cool stuff. Anyways, on one of our adventures we went to Wolfsburg, which is actually the home of Volkswagen. Yeah, I think so. I think it's the home of Volkswagen. Anyways, it's a city built around the plant that makes Volkswagen. It's literally, it's huge, it's ridiculous. And we saw this really cool kinetic art sculpture that really fascinated us. It's called the machine with concrete. And basically what it is, is a giant gear train with a motor spinning really fast at one end and at the other end, a gear encased in concrete. And you look at that and you're like, how can that be? The last gear is fixed. How can this motor be spinning? And it's because the gear ratio is so huge, it would literally take millions and millions of years for that last gear to even start moving a little bit to break the concrete. It would literally last longer than the sun, which is crazy. And we thought it would be cool to make our own version of it, but make it quite a bit different. What we wanted to do was really utilize uh, unique gear designs, because there's lots of cool gears out there. So we're using like Geneva mechanisms, Nautilus gears, and oddly shaped gears that when you look at them, you don't think they're gonna spin, but they do. And the other thing we were trying to do is, the theme of the art prize is called the Convergence of Art and Science. And uh, gears are a literal representation of like, science and mechanics. They're, they're literally how a lot of the world functions. Like, think about all machinery, cars, transportation, everything like that. So we thought it'd be cool to show off gears in a cool way that would actually be educational too. We also wanted to make the machine interactive so kids could literally play with it and see different things. So we added a whole bunch of levers that you can actually engage different gears to see how they spin. And in addition to that, the whole machine's powered off a of Bosch drill and we left the trigger available. So that means you can go up to the machine and pull the trigger and make it spin faster. But no matter how fast you make it spin, it's still not gonna make a difference. It'll take over 10,000 years for the machine to turn itself off. The best part.
So, September 20th, 23rd, come meet us in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Get some free stickers, meet me and Ian, vote for us, and help ensure we can take Hacksmith Industries to the next level. Which means we can continue the Flying Like Iron Man project, bring back the exoskeleton, and work on the lightsaber. All the information for the event can be found in the description below. And don't forget to sign up on our Facebook event page as going, because if you do, we'll give you a signed Batarang when you show up. Thanks for watching, and I'm looking forward to meeting you guys in person.